Is Vladimir Putin artificially driving up gas prices to get Nord Stream 2 up and running faster? A British state secretary raises serious allegations because the country is particularly dependent on gas. So, a British state secretary has blamed Moscow for the sharp rise in gas prices. The current rise in gas prices has nothing to do with the amount of gas available. It is a geopolitical move by Russia to put pressure on Europe, said Parliamentary State Secretary Theodore Enyu in the House of Lords. Enyu was alluding to speculation that Russia could try to build up pressure through an artificial shortage of natural gas so that the Baltic Sea Pipeline Nord Stream 2 can be put into operation as quickly as possible. Russian President Vladimir Putin had declared that it was not Russia to blame for the prices, but the situation on the world market. Great Britain is particularly hard hit by the rise in gas prices because the country only has small reserves. Private households in the kingdom are protected from excessively high prices by a state cap. In the meantime, however, several energy suppliers had to file for bankruptcy because they had to pass on gas cheaper than they bought it. Companies that, unlike private households, do not benefit from a cap have been trying unsuccessfully for days to solicit support from the government. In individual sectors, such as manufacturers of the CO2 urgently needed in the food industry, the government stepped in to keep production going, but in in the beginning only for three weeks, so it's not that big. And I, it's a really tough one for me because that I have to um, protect Putin for once and contradict the, the state secretary uh, in the UK. We read some very good analyses here in Germany about the whole thing. And the point is, and even Angela Merkel stated that, um, and she's got really got nothing to lose anymore. No, sometime this year she will be retired. The point is, it's not that the Russians didn't deliver more. From here in Germany, our gas prices have risen too. And uh, because they have risen on the world market, not as excessively as in the UK. But the point is, is a longer explanation. The companies in Germany, we every co country should have a reserve and we have a EU reserve as well. They didn't put up as a big reserve as they wanted because in the middle of the year the gas was more expensive than they were used to and that's why they didn't order more. And now it's even more expensive and they're not ordering that much either. So um, it's it's a kind of a vicious circle. But the point it was not that Russia said we can't deliver anymore. Russia is clearly stating, and uh, unfortunately it's true, we haven't ordered more. And so for once, and it really hurts me to do that, because I have a lot of bad things to say about Putin, but not in this case. No, it doesn't hurt me. It's just fun, but it's just the truth. This time, the Russians are not to be blamed for this. It is our companies and their, um, let's say, shopping policy that caused the whole thing. So, no, it's not Russia. This time. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.